Growing up in New York, there's perhaps no greater honor than earning a nickname in the streets. And Walter Berry, well, he had a really good one. He was dubbed the truth, as in, you know, that guy Walter, he's the truth. Makes sense for a 6'8 lefty power forward who can hurt you with an array of crafty low post moves or embarrass you with a killer dunk in transition. He can do it all. Despite schools like Duke and North Carolina calling, Barry returned back to New York and made an immediate impact at St. John's for the 84-85 campaign. He finished second on the team to scoring behind Chris Mullen and helped lead the team to a Final Four. But it was the next season where the nation really learned what the truth was all about. How's 23 points and 11 rip sound? Barry led St. John's to its second Big East title. He also won seven National Player of the Year awards, including the John R. Wooden Award. Drafted 14th overall by the Blazers in the 86 draft, Barry was traded to the Spurs after just seven games in Portland. But after splitting year three with Houston and New Jersey, Barry left the NBA and it never came back. He went on to play in Italy, Greece, and Spain, where he became a superstar for over a decade. Why didn't it work out in the NBA? Well, perhaps we'll never know the truth, but one thing's for sure. Walter Berry did wear the cap and gown in the spring of 2010, eventually earning his diploma.